Valley Club, are the Wakanda slash War Dogs getting another rework? We're discussing why that may be the case and the rest of what you can expect coming in update 8.1 arriving this week, including the Mercs for Money, Alpha Flight, Old Man Logan's Trials, a new showcase raids, and everything else that you can expect from 8.1. So if you're ready to get prep commanders, then you know what to do. Find that like button and let's go smash it. And welcome back to the Valley Flying channel. I am Valley Flying. I hope you're having a great day. I hope your week is going well because update 8.1 one is arriving over the course of this week with at least four new characters we have another legendary event in old man logan's trials we have a new raid into alpha flight raids that are coming but before we get to all that stuff to help you get prepped if you haven't done so already hit that subscribe button for more great marvel strike force content at least five marvel strike force videos per week on the channel usually we have more we have updates like this gameplay videos news videos question and answer videos everything to help your experience in marvel strike force but without further ado let's talk about this update which is launching over the course of this week what it says in the last blog post between may 21st and may 23rd is when this update should start rolling out so if the update is not already live in your game right now it should be there over the course of this week and you should be able to see some of these new characters now one interesting thing that was seen on the test server earlier today is this loading screen as you can see it is a black panther version of shuri what could this mean I'm thinking this could be another, yet another Wakandan rework, maybe a War Dog rework, maybe a new Wakandan team coming. Let me know what your thoughts are. What do you think this loading screen means? Let's move forward to the big event for this update. It is the Old Man Logan Trials. It is happening later this week on Friday, May 24th is when the first run of his event is gonna start. Not known exactly when his second run is gonna begin, but most people are predicting around October, November. So. Yeah, start to push for this event. At least get that four-star unlock for Old Man Logan and get as many stars as you can on this character because I do think he's going to have some arena value. But yeah, out of time is what you need. Cabal, Emma Frost, and Loki. And of course, you can get that four-star unlock at difficulty eight, zero packs unlocked. Uh, to get another star, you would need to get at least five stars for your characters and start at difficulty 11, 12, six stars, at least six stars for all these characters that we mentioned, difficulty 13 and 14, and you can get a seven star for this character with difficulty 15. Now there is gonna be some first run rewards as well. It's not exactly clear how this is gonna work, but we are gonna get these tokens for this character. And that means that I, you're not gonna have to spend gold to level up this character to that search and star level training mats as well. Hopefully it's also that associated gear level. What it says here, top rewards of a seven and a six yellow star old man logan also some red stars rewarded for him as well during his event now one new thing that we saw was some data mines indicating some of the enemies that we're going to see in some of these nodes so obviously these are data mines these are something to change these aren't officially live in the game yet but uh usually these data mines are pretty accurate now thanks to quick draw for doing these data mines you can see node one these are usually pretty easy these first few nodes that don't have any restrictions these are usually what we're going to do to set up our cooldowns for our characters we see some characters like dark hawk kestrel uh, maria hill mockingbird uh, Nick Fury, so kind of a shield-based team on Node 1. Node 2, where you need out-of-time characters. Super Scroll, Morgan Le Fay, Mordo, oh my goodness, there are some nasty characters here. Starting off with a Super Scroll, yeah, you're gonna have to have your Black Knight really, really powerful to avoid this Super Scroll. Node 3 requires cosmic bio characters, and we have some characters like Dark Beast, Lady Deathstrike in here. We have some Death Seed characters, but Wave 3 is where you're gonna see Apocalypse. So yeah, get your cosmic bio characters ready. Hero skill characters, this one is not as bad. We got a lot of great hero skill characters, but you're gonna have to face some superior slash sinister six craven doc ock lizard other spider verse characters as well and a hero skill notes and villain notes this should probably be the easiest especially if you're a late game player and have apocalypse super scroll unlocked cosmo Korg, dazzler a lot of these nowhere type characters there is nova right there out uh, infinity war thor a lot of great characters and then we have this trio of gamut nightcrawler and forge which could make things very very challenging all right cabal emma loki uh, this is where you're going to have to fight. It looks like Spider spider Society characters along with some uh, Bifrost as well. Raid bonuses. Maybe they're going to be active in this. Next, we got some Cosmic Blau characters. Now, the, the, let me go back to Node 6 because the important thing here, do we need Emma, Frost, and Cabal to survive for Node 10? If we don't, this node is fine. Just use them all up and then have your Cabal and your out-of-time characters smash Node 10. 
If we do need this to survive, you need to play this note very, very carefully. Cosmic Bio, Human Torch thing, Misty Knight. Not a lot of great characters here. Hopefully this is an easy node. Maybe with these double Iron Fist and Shang-Chi, it could be challenging. Hero Skill, Abomination, Absorbing Man, Titania, She-Hulk, Red Hulk, leaning into the Red Hulk and Kang as the last node here. Villain nodes here, the final node, uh, the final wave, who's Captain Marvel, Spider-Woman, Squirrel Girl, so leaning into that Young Avenger synergy. And last but not least, it is that node 10, out of time Cabal, Mr. Sinister, Black Cat, Morbius, Ghost Rider, Ghost Rider, Robbie Reyes, Nova, Oh, and uh, yeah, if you guys haven't seen this, look at the last wave. Wave four features a Mephisto. So we may need to build Emma Frost. We may need to build Loki. Let me know what your thoughts are on building some of these characters. Well, let's move forward to the test server so you can see some of the characters that are dropping in this update. Now, old Ben Logan is already in the live server right now, but the first time that you can unlock him will be this Friday, like we talked about, May 24th. Uh, that is the first character that is dropping. Then we have the Alpha Flight characters. They will be needed for these upcoming showcase raids. We're going to discuss in just a little bit. But the first character is Guardian. Looks to be a very good character. This was was a character that was voted on by the fans he looks to be a good one i think scott sasquatch is a little better the protector of the team other character that was voted on by the fans but i think the best character of this owl flight is this guy north star a lot of strong moves in his kit this is a very strong special here where he does a lot of rebound chains up to a maximum of 10 characters has a very very big aoe attack here and clears revive once off all enemies they have a lot of synergy with each other a lot of synergy in the raids and on war defense as well and the two characters on this team that's getting reworked wolverine and sunspot we did check about their full kit reveal earlier today in a video so if you want to check out that video check out the video up there for the full kit reveal for all these alpha flight characters and the reworks to uh, wolverine and sunspire as well and you're gonna need alpha flight for these upcoming spotlight raids i think they may be named alpha flight raids but they said in fact they will be replacing the greek raid so these harder versions of the raids should be coming in this update now that we're getting this alpha flight team Again, you're gonna need the upcoming Alpha Flight team and a Spider Society for these new raid challenges. We see some of the new raid layouts here where you need some non-mythic characters, non-mythic boss, Spider Society, more Spider Society, Alpha Flight, Alpha Flight, Alpha Flight boss, and the final boss. So you and your alliance are gonna need to coordinate this. Maybe you don't need to build up all your Alpha Flight or your Spider Society, but you're probably gonna need to build one or the other and coordinate that with your lines. Let me know your, what your thoughts are on these new spotlight slash alpha flight raids. And the raids are getting a little bit of a quality of life improvement. What they said in last week's blog post, max raid energy is being increased from 50 to 60. And this will be seen in game after the next release. So sometimes whenever this is rolled out to you, whenever your game updates, you should see an increase of your raid energy from 50 to 60. And there should be more quality of life changes coming. Let me know your what your predictions are for some other quality of life changes that we may be getting during this update one thing that i hope happens is we get this open all or budget returning they did bring this back a few weeks ago unfortunately it still caused stability issues and it was removed hopefully we get this back during this update we don't know exactly when it's gonna come back they said we'll let you more once we have more information they're gonna update us they haven't done that yet but hopefully it is on an update 8.1 other thing i hope happens at update 8.1 is this red dot i hope that finally gets removed that was brought to our game in update 8.0 and unfortunately it never got removed so hopefully this is the update that that red dot finally gets removed hopefully we get that open all or budget returning let me know what you're most hyped for in this update and what quality of life feature you want to see them add hopefully you got some value from this video and helps prepare you for everything that is coming up in update 8.1 if you did get some value leave it a like it is free for you tremendously helps out the channel and if you want to see what are all the best teams in marvel strike force rated from best the worst check out the video up there and i'll see you guys next time have a great rest of your day enjoy update 8.1 and i'll see you guys next time hulk fist bomb valley flying out